Today, NVIDIA announced DLSS 3.5 to be released this fall for Cyberpunk 2077, Alan Wake, and some other games and demos. This is a new AI technology that aims to improve ray tracing visual fidelity, especially in path traced applications. This tech will work on all RTX GPUs, so that means if you have a 20 or 30 series card, you do get the increase in fidelity, but unfortunately do not get frame generation as well. So if you can't run ray tracing now, don't expect this to enable you to do so. It will apparently just be a checkbox in the menu like frame generation is. DLSS 3.5 introduces what NVIDIA calls ray reconstruction instead of using a typical denoiser. The denoiser is responsible for the smearing and ghosting artifacts you see in the overdrive mode of Cyberpunk 2077 since it relies on previous frames to produce the current frame. You see these anomalies especially when moving quickly or driving cars. Ambient occlusion is also affected by this method. It will average and interpolate nearby pixels and blends that information together, resulting in a softer image overall. So DLSS 3.5 is introducing an AI-powered algorithm that has been trained with five times more data than DLSS 3. This algorithm, instead of blending pixels, will keep the good pixels and throw away the bad ones, resulting in a much sharper image. They show examples of hugely enhanced reflections and the smearing and artifacting is basically gone completely. This seems like the cyberpunk ray tracing overdrive mode that was teased a few months ago, honestly. But I thought it would be interesting to share, especially since this solves a lot of the issues I had with Overdrive, uh, especially in time for the Phantom Liberty expansion. Should be a good time. Definitely be checking that out. Definitely be checking this out when it releases, uh, hopefully before, but probably when the expansion drops. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys later.